In this video, I want to talk about any of the fault codes which start with the letter L. Um, L fault codes are all to do with inverters. So when you look on your screen of your uh, controller here, um, you will see uh, some sort of reference to the inverter. The fault codes will be between L0 and L9. But they essentially all mean the same thing. So when we go to our outdoor unit, I've completely dismantled this one, but I'm gonna need you to whip off this right-hand cover and the middle cover. Don't forget the two big screws at the bottom um, because I wanna look inside the machine um, and I wanna look at this PCB here in the background. So you can see it with the green LEDs on it. This is what we call the inverter PCB. Um, it's a great big one above the compressor here. You need to be very, very careful with it. It's a very high voltage PCB. These capacitors here are charged at 370 volts DC. So please don't touch anything because it will give you a hell of a kick. What you really need to do with an inverter is do a test on it. And these can be really tricky, but I'm gonna show you a few shortcuts. So to make life easy, I've whipped off the lid of the unit. And if you look here from the top, you can see the board is huge. Um, it's pretty much the full width of the unit. But I'm really only interested in one little part of it. If you look nice and closely there, you can see there are three LEDs. We've got one here, which flashes very, very quickly, um, all the time. And we have two green ones here. One of them is flashing quite slowly, and the other one is constantly lit. And all you need to do is make sure that is the case, that those three LEDs are doing exactly as it shows in the video. If anything else is wrong, essentially that PCB is fried um, and you need a new one. It's quite a tricky board to uh, replace. You've got to undo quite a few of these screws down here and so on to get to it. Um, but what I'd like you to do if you have an L fault code, turn off the power to the unit, immediately turn off. These lights will go off, but these green ones will stay on for about a minute. Wait till they've all gone off so the whole thing is completely dead. Power it back up again check the green LEDs again, and start the machine. What I'm looking for when the machine tries to start, so stand in front of it, it will take it six minutes, so you've got to be patient and chill out. But what I'm interested in this is, does the fan spin? Does the fan spin at all? So just check that. See if the compressor tries to start. It should start nice and smoothly, but sometimes if there's inverter problems, you get loads of shaking and shuddering and so on. So just um, check that for me. Um, and then what you need to do is give us a ring on tech support, which uh, you'll see the number in our YouTube page. Um, but if you can get that information for me, it'll take you two or three minutes. It'll save you a lot of time um, and it's not particularly difficult to do. Hey, you don't even need any tools.